The spring.collection classes are quite similar to the generic.collection classes from Delphi itself. There are a couple of differences. Uh, one of them is that they are interface based. So you have an I list instead of a T list. Um, another one, uh, and a huge benefit I think, is that they are implementing the I enumerable interface as well. I'll show you later on how you can use this uh, interface to um, to do all sorts of things uh, with a list uh, that really helps uh, in writing clean and easy to read, co to read code. So, um, to get started you will have to include uh, spring.collection classes in, uh, in your project or in your unit, unit um, because in this um, unit there is a factory class T collections. And with this t-collection uh, collection class, you have all sorts of um, uh, methods to create an interface list. So, in this example, I used a simple create list to create an interface list. Uh, but you also have an object list, uh, a multi-map, all sorts of lists you can, can create via the t-collection class. Um, and in this example, I uh, create a list with that that holds all instances of uh, the t car implementation and the t car is and i'll show you right now um, it's just a simple class with two properties two public properties uh, the maximum speed of a car and the name of a car um, so what we've done is uh, we create this list via the factory class t uh, collections we create a couple of cars as you can see right here and uh, just to show you that the uh, interface list uh, also is usable in um, well plain old Delphi code uh, I've here an example where you where we simply loop through the list uh, figure out what the fastest speed of these cars uh, is and display the results uh, in uh, a console app so if we, if I run this uh, example you'll see the fastest car will do 350, um, which is in this case uh, the Bugatti. So, just a very simple example of uh, figuring out the maximum speed. But with the interface list, we can uh, improve this example quite a bit. So I'll show you the next example, uh, which is this one. As you can see, um, we still want to search for the fastest car. Um, only this time we use the max function uh, from the i enumerable uh, to figure out what the fastest car would be. So with the uh, maxim func function you have to uh, provide a comparison. And in this case uh, I provide here the car speed comparison function I declared here. Um, and the structure of this comparison is always the same, so um, you will have a left and right, and you have to compare these. Um, the result would be an integer, if it's above zero, uh, the comparison will take the left one, if it's below, it will take the right one. So in this case we simply uh, subtract the right from the left and uh, give the result back. Um, this car speed comparison is just a typed um, implementation of the T comparison uh, function here. So in this case, uh, we'll use the max function with uh, this implementation to figure out what the fastest car would be. Um, and of course you can, uh, and that's I think the beauty of this, you can uh, define this function somewhere else. Um, maybe in a completely other class and you'll have just one uh, line of code and reusable code uh, to figure out what the maximum speed is in this case uh, of uh, this car list. Of course you can implement this uh, differently if you want so um, let's say we don't want to have the maximum speed um, but we want the cheapest car or the most expensive one we can just create another comparison uh, we use the max or minimum function to figure out what, uh, for example, the most expensive car is. 
and uh, use exactly the same structure. Um, so it makes this very easy readable. Uh, if I now run this um, example, we'll uh, first get, of course, the first um, uh, the first example, which is uh, still the same. And when I press enter, you'll see that uh, we'll get this result, so including the name of the of the car. Um, Okay, then I'll go to the third one, um, which is this one. Uh, and in this case, I um, want to figure out uh, and have a list of all the cars with a B in their name. So normally you will you, you would uh, loop again through the through the uh, list of cars and uh, add, the, add the ones with a B in the name to another list um, to present uh, the results of that. Um, but now I have actually I have two different uh, examples of how we can do this. So the first one is to um, use the WHERE function uh, to see if a car should be on the cars with B list. And in this case, this is also an uh, I enumerable. Um, so what I can do with the interface list of uh, the Spring Framework is say, okay, let's uh, use the where function to just give the result back, in this case, if the name contains a B. So when I um, execute this where uh, function will end up with a uh, e, uh, I enumerable list of well, which is basically a collection of the cars with a B in their name. And now what I can do with this I enumerable, I can uh, loop through them via the uh, for each function, also in the I enumerable, um, to well, in this case, just write down the name of the car. Uh, so this is one example how to use uh, the, the extra functions in the uh, interface lists. Um, you can also combine this uh, via sort of a fluent interface where you just say, okay, I still have this car list. Um, I query uh, which cars contains uh, the letter B and for each I'll write down uh, the name of the car. So. If you use this example, we even don't need the uh, the variable um, cars with B. We can just do this directly. So I'll disable this one uh, for a moment. Um, I'll run this example, and if everything goes well, uh, we'll see that uh, uh, there are just two cars with a B in the name. Um, so these two, and this is just with this line of code. So this is just a very uh, brief example of what you can do with the interface lists and the I enumerable. There are lots of functions in the Spring Collection class um, to use. So I'll just briefly go over one other. Um, as you can see right here, uh, I'd like to report uh, memory leaks uh, if we close the application and because I'm a console application, I won't see the results of this unless I uh, um, use this hack to um, to say it's not a console application because then you get a pop-up with the memory leaks. Um, so what we've done right now is create a list with implementations of the T car. Um, so we'll expect some memory leaks because we create all these cars, but we never free them. So let's just run this. Um, and you will see we'll have uh, five times the tcar object. So what we can do is um, change this to an interface. So the cars will be automatically freed um, when we uh, fall out of scope. Um, but there is another option. Um, let's say we need to have the T car, so we don't have an interface yet. Um, you can change the create list to a create object list. And once you've done that, um, you say that the 
um, all the, the items in this list uh, will be managed by the list itself. So once the list gets freed, freed it'll automatically free all the objects in uh, the list as well. So if we run this example, we'll see I'll have the same uh, result, but now without any um, memory leak. So that's it for the uh, for the example. Um, I would recommend to use the Spring collection uh, collections as much as possible because it's uh, it's just easier to maintain and uh, to iterate through the uh, to, through your lists. Uh, so make use of them.